Welcome to the Harper Classroom, series of instructional videos. This video is on Inventory Theory, Economic Order Quantity. EOQ stands for Economic Order Quantity, and an EOQ is an order quantity Q that will minimize the total inventory cost. The agenda for this video is first the EOQ equation, the square root of 2 times D, which is the constant demand rate, times C sub O divided by C sub C, where C sub O is the unit ordering cost. It's the cost for each order that's placed in the purchasing department, divided by C sub C, the unit carrying cost. It's the cost to carry each item in your warehouse over a period of time. The input-output model is that we can increase our inventory by acquiring items from our supplier, and we can decrease inventory by distributing items to the customer. The inventory policy contains the two fundamental questions of inventory theory, when to order and how much to order. And notice the EOQ is the lot size Q, which corresponds to how much to order for both the periodic and continuous review systems. For the EOQ equation, suppose we're given a demand of 12,480 items a year, ordering cost of $52 per order, and a carrying cost of 30 cents per item per quarter. In the EOQ equation, we have 2 times D times C sub over C sub C. But notice our demand is in years. Our carrying cost is in quarters. These two times must be the same, so we'll transform years to quarters. In transforming years to quarters, we divide by 4. So I take 12,480 divided by 4, and that will give me items per quarter. My ordering cost is 52. My carrying cost is 30 cents per item per quarter. The two times are the same. So my EOQ is 1,040. So let's look at the total costs to see the relationships to identify the underlying concept of EOQ. The carrying cost. The total carrying cost can be described as the average inventory times the unit carrying cost, where the average inventory can be uh, described as Q over 2. The total ordering cost is the order frequency times the unit ordering cost, and the order frequency is D over Q. And the total inventory cost is just the sum of the total ordering cost and total carrying cost. These three costs can be represented in a graph where the x-axis is the lot size Q and the y-axis is the cost. And this line right here is going to be the total carrying cost since it's linear in Q. And this line right here is the total ordering cost since it's inversely related to Q. If I add these together, I get my total inventory cost. And we can see that this total inventory cost is minimized right here. And at that point, that Q is EOQ. So at EOQ, I have a minimum cost. But not only at EOQ is the total inventory cost minimized, but notice that the total ordering cost equals the total carrying cost at EOQ. So that relationship can be used to derive the EOQ equation. Set the cost equal to one another, bring up the equations, solve for Q. And since that Q will yield a minimum total inventory cost, we call that Q EOQ. But that relationship is also the basis for a lot of techniques in industry. Take the same equation, but this time express Q over 2 as average inventory, D over Q as order frequency, and then collect terms, and we see that the ratio of the unit ordering cost to unit carrying cost is equal to the average inventory divided by the order frequency, or this ratio is equivalent to the average inventory per inventory period to minimize cost. And that relationship is used as the basis for many lot sizing techniques in industry. So here are 10 EOQ models. And this is to illustrate that economic order quantity is more of a concept than an equation. And equations come from the concept. The models are divided by the demand, constant demand, stochastic demand, which is probabilistic demand, and irregular demand. And whether these EOQ models are based on the EOQ equation, which is the basic EOQ model of this video, or on the ratio of the average inventory to the order frequency, which the irregular demand models are based on, EOQ is a concept that can derive many different techniques. So now let's look at some examples. Example 1. The demand is 62.40 per year, unit ordering cost is 860 per order, 
and the unit carrying cost is $6.50 per item per month. What's the optimal inventory policy that will minimize total inventory cost? Well, that's EOQ. The answer. From the EOQ equation, notice my demand is in years, but my carrying cost is in months. So I need to transform years to months. So to transform years to months, I take my years and divide by 12, and there's my demand per month, times my ordering cost of 860, divided by my carrying cost of 650 per month, and that's approximately 371. Example number two. Demand is 520 a month, the unit ordering cost is 860, and the unit carrying cost is $19.50 per item per quarter. What's the optimal inventory policy that will minimize the total inventory cost? Well, that optimal inventory policy would contain EOQ. So EOQ equation, 2 times D times C sub over C sub C. Again, our demand is in months, but our carrying cost is in quarters. So we need to transform months to quarters this time. Well, to transform months to quarters, I highly recommend, as I do in my time conversion video, to transform months to years, and then transform years back to quarters. So, take the 520 per month, transforming months to years, I multiply by 12, transforming years back to quarters, I divide by 4, times my ordering cost divided by my carrying cost gives my EOQ of 371. So this ends the video on inventory theory, economic order quantity. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.